the next few minutes we will cover how to use 10% and 1% to find percentages quickly in your head and when to use your head instead of a calculator. What is 20% of 240? If you can answer that in 3 seconds in your head mentally, you've just saved almost 10 seconds of fumbling with a rubbish on-screen calculator you will have access to during the UCATs. Your two best friends when calculating percentages are Miss 10% and Mr 1%. If you can find those two, almost all the other percentages are just multiples of them. For example, to work out 20% of 240, the easiest way is to first calculate that 10% of 240, which equals 24. Remember, finding 10% just means dividing by 10. Now, if 10% equals 24, then 20% equals 48. We just multiply the 10% by 2. It may sound obvious, but far too many candidates will waste valuable time on test day by opening the calculator for a simple question like this. Let's see how mental arithmetic help you in the next question. Question 1. Amelie invested £360,000 into the scheme, but this amount drops by 10% over the course of the first three months. How much did Amelie's investment drop per month on average? You should confidently be able to say that 10% of £360,000 is £36,000. If this is the drop over three months, we can mentally calculate by dividing by three that the loss per month was £12,000 on average, all in about 5 seconds. Questions like this expose those students who over-rely on the calculator. The maths is simple, but it would be time-consuming to type. Of course, if the investment was £356,728 and the percentage drop was 13.5%, then the calculator would be far superior. But for round percentages, you can usually work out quicker in your head. Let's do another relevant example. In the next question, you can try to beat your record for the fastest you have ever answered a UCAT question. I want to see you use the tricks you have learned to answer this in 5 seconds. Question 2. The table above shows the time taken by three individuals to complete a comprehensive diving course. An error has been made and Gary spent 2% more time than indicated by the table. How many hours did Gary take to pass the driving course? You should be able to do this mentally within 5 seconds. Using our trick, 10% of 120 is 12, so 1% must be 1.2. If 1% is 1.2, then 2% will be 2.4. 120 plus 2.4 gives us the answer of 122.4. It's really that easy. I hope these examples demonstrated that occasionally your mind can work faster than your fingers. Keep practicing to break your own personal percentage calculation records. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.